What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back with the second episode of the Short Deck Cash Game from the Triton Millions in London 2019. We're playing 3,000 anti, 6,000 anti. We saw incredibly big pots last time around. My name is Lex Valtuis, and I'm very excited to start looking at the action here. Jason, did he actually quit poker for like how many years? Yeah, he went to Columbia University. He quit poker and went to university how many years? and finished. Like, at least three. I mean, he played a lot in Macau, like live cash games and stuff. But like, he wasn't full time for like a lot, a lot of time. And even now, I mean, his main thing is. You're talking about Dave Benefield. Yeah. Oh, we see an all in air from Papua. Rough session for him he's last time lot. round. He's on the button against yeah, a bunch of people um, that called. Seems like he really found a good spot, like you know, because it's obviously taking too much time to be. Uh, to be competing full deck with like all these top pros, but exactly. like short deck was on, uh, on yeah. the rise on the early stage, so exactly he jumped so in. A, she used right like hand. very talented player, just figured it out, you know. It's getting in while the getting's good, will probably Benchman be out by the time it's super tough. Nines reluctantly. And Pop Watt picks down the first spot of uh, this episode, of course, this one continuous session for them. <laughs> just a quick reminder for people short deck plates, the whole table puts in. Half an anti, which is jump, by the way? a small blind, and then a big you blind jump, like, K? on this the hand? button. With last to act pre flop. Ten something. Yeah. It's nice to get through with with jamming like 100k, printing like 30. Yeah, it's real strong. 130, 140 now. Stakes are high, lots of anti, so lots of money in the middle every pot. We're gonna see people fighting very hard over the antis. 50, 60, 70 anti shoves. Don't ruin the party. Are not uncommon. <laughs> too scary. I was ready too. Got too scared. Oh, yeah. So in this particular game, no deuces, threes, fours, and fives. Ace counts as a five and an ace as high. That means that Liu Ming flopped a straight here. It's a straight ace to nine. Flushes beat full houses. And there's a lot of action. Jason Cohn here with two pair on a button. Straights are very common. Flush is less so. That's why a flush beats a full house in this game. Jason bets 18,000. Let's see what Liu Ming wants to do here. There's no flush draw on boards. Hands have a lot of equity though. He's cutting out a raise. It's like a raise of 30,000. Yeah, it does make it 48,000. Yellow chips are 5k. I don't even know what color that is. The other one. Beige? Beige white chips are 25. Opa also flopped a straight. There are so many hands to the flop that actually escaped my attention for a second there. So... Opa is all in. Let's see if this is enough to scare uh, Jason off. I think it's very key here for him is to think about what Liu Ming would call with from early position and then check raise the flop with. So, these guys are gonna chop it. That actually sucks a bit for Jason because. Yeah, he says it. I'm gonna I think win the only good for thing sure. for TV if you run it till someone hits flush. No! That's Jason. Yeah, once two people have a straight, all of a sudden your full house outs become very much a real thing. Yeah, set of six school. No, I would not fall upset. Gamble, gamble. But. If he would have seen those two straights, he would have called. Like I think one of his biggest issues is if somebody has an ace yeah, or a six. It felt like somebody had 9-8. It just happened they both did. Yeah. I mean, this one was, was very suspicious when it's six-handed and then race, re-race all in. Yeah, half-plot, raise all in. 
still hurts to fold a7. I mean, you can just do, you can just make a full house, man. Not full house. It's true. Not full house. I just made well. Oh. Call. 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 The deck is literally short in this game. That means that all of the future outs that you could have, all of the outs that you have right now, are gonna come around much more often than they do in no limit hold them. It also means that if nobody blocks an ace or a seven, you're looking really good oh. against two people all in. Check, get up. Hi. Does your pot outs get better? See how Mikita Bajakowski flops the nuts. Pop wall with two over cards. A gut shot to the nuts straight and a king high flush draw. Incredible flop for him. I promise you we're going to see big pots again today. This is all new content for me, but short tech is just such a volatile game. I think there's a big chance we're going to see Mikita in instances like this just go all in. Also because you need to protect against some other hands that are happening. It's almost like any card is a scare card. How much you have behind? Sorry. It's like a hundred or... Hundred and... I don't know. Here, yeah, 100 something, 105. Yeah, okay. 106. Nikita could be worried that he scares off people behind him if he just goes for the all in here. My min is too. Uh, interesting. I'm gonna make 125,000. Commits fall oh, wow. into it. Still wants to bait other people, perhaps with a hand like Jack Nine. You never know. You see crazy action. Wang Jun is very aggressive. I don't think Wang Jun knows this is turned up. Zero in. Same hand, maybe. No, sir. Ooh. Yeah, look at that guys, 42% for Pop Pop to win this hand. One time. One time, two times. One time, one time. Yeah, we keep running it once, Paul said, this game, we just run it once. They decide. Still needs the same odds. If diamond, then 10 of diamond. So you could take the straight flush and it doesn't hurt too much. 350,000 pounds. That's not it. The ball continues to run bad. You know, it's only a few pots to really add up. Just losing a few 50 50s really sucks. It's extra painful. And some revenge there from Makita after losing uh, that side pot with Ace King versus Paul's Ace Queen. In the three well in with Jason Poon. Two twenty-five, four twenty-five. Oh, one for ta Luga Mai Fu Ma. Okay. Oh, Mai Fu Yu Yang. Five hundred. So they talked about the cash out rule last time. Uh, I think because of the volatile nature of short deck and because people actually like it for that reason, they don't want to play too deep stacked. It also becomes way too swingy when you play uh, a 6,000 button ante. So I think what Jason did last time as well um, is they take off uh, anything they have over 500. So uh, Sorry, I said I played in five, so that's five. Yeah. Uh, four, four, yeah. four, so they put four, the chips off the table. Four, Pre decided nine. rule. Four. If somebody wins a million pound pot, they can take 500 off to avoid start flipping for 2 million, 2.5 oh no, million. You see some big hands while this is all going down. And she went there with the raise. This actually keeps the action alive as well, with you know the action as crazy as we've seen it so far. Mm. 150 and this, eh? 50 and this is still playable. Yeah, I'm more. Got it. I'm cold. I'm here. 
Start seeing less pre flop balloons. Well, you'll probably still see a lot of pre flop balloons, it's just not gonna get called as often with hands like 10 9 suited. This should just get much worse uh, bot odds. The stacks get deeper. Much easier to call uh, 50 anties with ace queen than it is to call 150. Ida here with the re raise. Very interesting to see re-raise bots. I like that we still have a stack depth to where we see this and it's not just either all in or call and see a flop. This is situations we don't get to see a whole lot in short deck, so very cool to see how they approach it. Some people that we do see this quite often is White and Young and Tom Duan. A re-raise range of hands, so to say, as well. <laughs> 200 in the pots, 400 behind for Mikita. This is such a tough situation. You don't want to bet 80,000 and somebody with Jack 9 with one heart being able to peel and I'll draw you. But at the same time, it's a very fine line between going all in for too much to where people won't be calling with hands you do really well against as well. Very interesting here. Peter goes for small bet. It's about as brick as it can be. Akita gonna be very pleased. These are those moments in short deck where you just think, okay, well, if you shove, you're like, okay, I'm all in, I guess. Three hundred and thirty-two thousand pounds in the middle. Oh. Faster, faster, faster. Love to see it. One hundred and twenty-five thousand. Kida worries that if he goes all in, he just pushes out the hands that he does really well against. Think about the, the King Jack with no hearts. The Ace Queen, like Tenchuan has. Yeah, sorry. Big hand. Faster. Uh, I play 5 million again. Ah. I think they just told Mikita to play faster. I love how these uh, these guys came to. Wang Jun was just like, you need to speed it up. Even though it's just the 330,000 pots. As we said last time too, VIPs aside. Wang Jun says you run it once, you run it once. If he says the game needs to be faster, the game needs to be faster. Or soda. Soda also. Makita counting out the max of 500 again. Bunch of calls. Button is the last save pre flop. Hmm? 
Me need this. Wang Jun, 18,000 with Jax. Makes very small uh, raises. Has been kind of joking about it, saying mini raise. I'm doing it with a wide variety of hands. Everybody complaining that Wang Jun got him in the pot. They were all pot committed. Top pair. Top pair. Liu Ming, we see here how powerful open and a straight rows are. Of course, he has the only club. Let's not forget about that. That's going to give him a little bit of percentage, but he is 40% favorite in this pot. And he's the only person without a pair. Think about that. There's also an ace gone and a 10 gone, and he still has 40%. Big decision for him. Lots of dead money in the pot as well. Multi way to the flop, lots of antis in. <laughs> Big decision here. Liu Ming knows how powerful uh, these draws are. Seven <笑>好老师到你我他们说了我说了我说给你吃好给你们开一张给开皮蛋哎哎哈哈九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九十九
That's why position is so important because the boards are very dynamic. All the situations change very much and it's very important to realize in terms of bet sizing or when you want to protect your hand or when you don't want to bet a top pair because a turn is going to give you so much trouble. There is that queen. Nikita makes a better two pair but Liu Ming makes it not straight. This game is fundamentally so much different than No Limit Hold'em, even though it has the same rules. Apart from the fact that there's some missing cards, of course, and Flush beating a full house, but that's about the only thing. He uh, quickly calls. I think that's one of those things where it's like a small situation. He feels like it's good to kind of speed it up a bit. And he's almost always calling there anyway. Kido blocks a lot of full houses. He has the ten of hearts. Blocks a lot of strong stuff. Really interesting. Makita sometimes takes long, but he always comes up with something really cool. There he goes. He's turning his hand into a bluff. He's thinking to himself, I'm not winning this hand often enough. I'm gonna lose too much to King Jack. Possibly a 9, Jack 8, <laughs> even Ace X. Think about it, just a hand like Ace Jack beats him now. And he knows I block a lot of full houses. I have the 10 of hearts. I think my best chance to win this hand is to bet. Because I think I can make you fold it straight. I think I can make you fold an Ace. And it's unlikely that you have a flush. And it's unlikely that you have a full house. This is just next level poker. Falling on a turn because you think you're going to be good often enough. And then on the river deciding that you need to bluff and he gets it done. And this is why Nikita Bechakowski is one of the best. What is it? Spicy almond? Um, no, no, thanks. They're really good. Mm -hmm. Very well done. Yeah, jack 10 of hearts, just like that, huh? I'm playing 5 million again. 5 million. You can even see Jason Kuhn there giving him credit for the backdoor flush. 55. So yeah, 1, 2, 3. So like I'm taking 40k from here. Oh, it's on me, sorry. Taking... I'm, yeah, I'm playing in a moment. I take this. So I'm taking... Sink 40 and this. So Makita keeps loading money off the table. Of course, I'm going to repeat that it's allowed. Wow. This included it earlier as well. Just, just means that he's winning a lot of pots now. Everything he wins is pretty much uh, over 500 now. We have uh, Liu Ming opening the action with Ace Queen here. All with a very strong hand. 10-9. Even though it's offsuit, it's still a very strong hand. I got the call from Paul. This 9 is going to be a good, reasonable amount of the time. He also has some backdoor straight draws. And those are strong in this game. Liu Ming has a gut shot now, but obviously we know that gut shot's not going to be good. He can make a straight with an 8. Paul, of course, would be on the 10 high straight if that happens. Hundred sixty-five thousand pounds in the middle. Make the check. Paul's got to feel pretty comfortable, either to check it down, but also to bluff. Perhaps it's very unlikely that early position 
raises with either 10 8 or ace 8 the two straights on board so let's see if paul decides to turn his hand into a bluff here or if he's gonna go for a showdown and see a river how you do that he's asking a little bit over pots. Oh, it's actually pretty good, yeah. enough? What he's thinking is, if I shove pot and somebody has King 10 here, maybe I just get called. He is gonna go for it. I like this move a lot, but Paul... Board is... very much in his advantage. Liu Ming saving some face, but obviously gonna fold. And he does. Well done by Popa. Come back time for him. <laughs> <laughs> he got him off Queens too, I think. Chaga! Yeah. You just went and got him off Queens. Like a beast. Nice hand, man. You're going to see a lot of calls pre flop in this game. People get really good I to get aces tonight, odds I think now. with all the antis in the middle. They already have half an anti in, so they might as well complete with hands like 10-8 offsuits. Show them after I get them. King nine offsuit, those sort I of hands. Two queens last night, by the way. Flop top set and got stacked, but I called that I was going to be dealt two queens. You know, king nine is pretty bad hand in this game. Can only make one two card straight, or his hands like. Jack 10, 10, 9, much more powerful that way. High card value in this game, not as important because top pair is just not gonna cut it anymore. a lot no. of time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we see. Now we have in a weak spot, your range is capped. Mm -hmm. There is no aces. Only a pop out. Five people to the flop. <laughs> and we have Liu Ming with top pair. Ten Shuen. That's gonna be the biggest trap ever, though. <laughs> yes. What's the best of it here? Because he has an open and a straight draw. What a shame you were trapping all the way, but the board is too bad. Ace of Hearts is also out, so now he also has the best running plus draw. We saw Liu Ming continuation bet with his top pairs earlier. So he does like to defend them. I don't like the race. 65,000. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Excellent card for him, he's gonna shove it. I mean, Jack 9 get there, 9 6 is very unlikely. It's no hearts. He even picks up uh, some emergency uh, straight outs in case he needed it against the uh, possible sets for two pairs. But you can be very comfortable knowing that your opponent would have shoved any three of a kind or two pair on the flop. So he thinks this card's. Completes very few draws. I'm all in. Even blocks Jack 9 too. So we see that Ten Schwen still has 30%. Faster, faster. Faster, huh? wants to speed up the game. <laughs> Act faster. Semi joking. Faster, faster. I call. I call. I call. He turns him over himself. I love it. 
，买牌。我都说了，这个牌还磕。嗯，这钱这么点钱，赔六赔六都不对，为什么不对呢？嗯，你你算一算嘛，啊、<笑>你自己算一算嘛，亏百分之二十了。So ten twenty is an eight or nine. All of us out are alive. Thirty percent. There's a nine. He does it. One's a four hundred thirty-one thousand pound pot. Wow. 不过他有拿到你一张你就亏了，对呀，你要八张才刚刚。I love the amount of interaction there is after every hand. People laugh at each other. People needle each other. Always talking about the hands. Very fun, amicable way. Oh yeah, two of them. 冠军，冠军呐、啊、！Yeah, he beat David. Mr. Liang, what? All Chinese win, all Asian. Best players. Aaron, Viking, Viking, Viking win. Viking won. No, no, he's maybe, got the lead. Maybe. He's got the lead. After, eh? No, Aaron. That, no, that Charlie Carell dude beat me oh, in the 50k heads up. <laughs> so tilt. Super, super, huh? Come on, Yangzhou. Yeah, still. Team Asia is crushing. Yeah, Benefield won. Benefield won the 25k. So he's having a pretty damn good week. We need to fight back in the 250k. Yes. Is it actually confirmed that it's happening? Because Kate were like, uh, it's happening. Yeah. That's the fucking big thing. That's a big tournament. That's bigger than the Triton Million almost. Almost. Um, yeah. It's probably like two thirds of the size or something. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Mayo, Basin Jima, Louis, Yang, Three,三万,六万,三百,六万。三万,六万,三百,六万。三万,六万,三百,六万。三万,六万,三百,六万。三万,六万,三百,六万。三万,六万,三百,六万。三万,六万,三百,六万。三万,六万,三百,六万。三
Jack uh -huh. six, one of the worst hands in short deck. Jack yeah. six is like seven deuce in no limit hold'em, and seven six offsuit would be three deuce offsuit in no limit hold'em. That's how bad those hands are. Peter cool. calling your looming. Suited days. Still a connected hand. Some somewhat connected. It's a one gapper, of course. <laughs> but it can make a two card straight. Then she went on a button. Nah, yeah, I a down already has a is king, so there's bound to be action. I think that's SD in the back there. Oh, I think uh, there's a very big chance that we're gonna see an all in here. Yeah, there he goes. All the money. Pop us out and be replaced with somebody else. I hope that's ST. ST is excellent. A short deck. We still got a big pot going on. Mike Jun is 50 anties behind. Two aces are dead. Which he doesn't know, but. Gotta think it likely. Let's make the folds. He done a tough spot here. Seventy-five anti's for him to call. Huh? Fuck me. Two, four. Four point five, four seventy-five. It's like one sixty anti's. So I've heard people talk about a small line pick lines calculated in terms of button antis. He was saying 160 antis. One one minute. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Uh, so this is actually shot for 160 antis, meaning that the button antis twice. Double He is gonna make the call. Okay, okay. A million pounds in the pot. I get the bad news. Still lost forty three percent though. Big Very strong hand. Big money. Yeah. Can't fault him for taking money in this one. Biggest pot <laughs> of this session. Thanks for smiling. I think it's gonna be a nice flop. Makita on a bit of the stress. I think it's gonna be an interesting flop. Okay. Oh, okay. Queen in the window. Oh, cool. King there, right behind. Jack of diamonds. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't sweat. That really Mikita. decimates Mikita's odds in this. Uh, in this spot. You're just gonna get there. I just feel it. Okay. okay. One million pounds in the middle. That's not it. Do it the hard way. Two remaining queens. One of those seemingly inescapable short deck situations. Seven on the river, no good. Ten Xuan wins the biggest one. Uh, 
Rough spot for him. <laughs> some quite a good run there. Also to a stop. <laughs> By the gunslinger. Then Shwen. Gonna get aces. I'm going to get aces. And I don't know what's gonna happen after that. I should rebuy or. Yeah, okay. Alright, so it does look like. Uh, my Fold. clothing read was correct. It is ST. Excellent player. Tag. Oh, so strong. So <laughs> strong. My apologies about the anti count. So these guys are actually 100 anti's deep. We're kind of messing it up a bit. Very strong. Raise in. Good luck, good luck. We're both the uh, ways of saying it used. 300. Kido corrected me there. In the end, it's all money. CS <sighs> tier. After his limp, going all in. It's gonna get calls. Another big pot right after. Welcome to the game, sir. Okay. 600,000 pounds in the middle. Thirty. The raise was to 30. Uh, 25. Call, call. All in. Fold. Yeah. That's a tough spot, man. It's a tough I think spot. I had to go for it. Need some help, though. Even though it looks like ace-king off. Looks like ace but it's never like kings plus ace king, ace king suited. I believe he's like squeezing this hand. So. Even if it is kings, I mean, you got the price. Yeah. Well, Liu Ming, find some respite. Sometimes it could be jack 10 suited easily. Yeah, jack 10 off. In equilibrium, it's clearly a call, but like, huh? in equilibrium, it's gonna be a call, but like, that's a, a tight spot, man. Yeah. It's a tough one. I knew your exact hand. <laughs> I mean, what else? Yeah. Uh, Tan Shuan, why is king? Why don't breathe me? <laughs> <laughs> why so big? Ace K. Yes. All I have yeah. is yellow. Really took it to him in the pot. Yellow. Too strong. <laughs> like they were saying, like people do with Jack 10 offsuits like sometimes, just to squeeze, just to get the money in the you middle. And strong, if somebody stand. calls, hey, I have Jack 10. And I do really well against pretty much any hand. So people do choose those hands to bluff with. Against kings, you're almost flipping with ace queen. Which is why Jason was saying you get the price against that hand. Maybe like deep down inside me, I'm just a big gambler, you know, <laughs> and want to just want to play a million dollar pot with an yeah, ace. Yeah, I want queen. to find the excuse to put it in. I feel you. I'm always looking for it. All right, Wang Jun checks his option with King Ten on a button. We go to a flop. Liu Ming with bottom pair, Ten Shuen opening a straight draw, deck, man. Wang Jun, Everybody top pair on a very coordinated board. Swings board. deck or something else. I can't drink liquids, I just pour them on myself. Okay, I believe I deserve a piece of chocolate. Have yourself some chocolate. It went and did you dirty too, give you the queen in the door. Got your hopes up. Yeah, wow. Well, yeah, that was disgusting. See the queen as a door card. Yeah. What that does to you inside. This is now. Eat up. This 
27 thousands not be enough to get looming out bench one jack 10 very strong like to note that Tench one has not used the option to take any of his stack out. He's playing 1.3 million pounds. He's gonna make the call. You need anti from him? That's a swing June. Four way? Four players. That's a great flop for Tench one. Kita gonna take it a little bit easy. Four way to the flop. Very hard to play with over pairs in short deck. Twenty-eight thousand from ten. These two square off again. Very important to note whatever happens from now in this hand that there were two other people in it. Very important information. Makes everything that happens stronger. It's more bad news for Makita. Now also loses to flushes. Can't be too happy with that. Bench one has a jack of spades. Thirty thousand. Very interesting bet. Very small. Hard for Makeda to fold this. And makes a flush. Not gonna be too pleased about it. Very hard for him to get paid here. Especially from the hand that we know that Makita has. 230,000 pounds in the middle. Ends up checking. Ace is no good. I win. Wow, this guy not No front there from Makita. Fucking river. Bench one. Bob the builder. It's a nice little castle going there. That's how quick things can turn around in short deck. One moment you're... Don't know what to do with the chips on the table. And the next you're just rebuying and losing pots. Stench one, queen nine suited, king queen, rank june. Looks like ST is gonna make a play at it. ST is incredibly aggressive. Oh, sorry. 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 Oh,
That's the wins one. I hope you guys enjoyed the action. We saw a crazy pot over a million pounds. Join me next time for the next episode of the Triton Short Tech Cash Game. See you then.